Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoy this content, please become the next Pope and use your huge societal influence to encourage people to subscribe to my channel. Also bless large quantities of water so people can hydrate spiritually, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys boys boys, and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. Alright, so I changed the spawn location to my house in Vinewood Hills because I miss this place. I especially love how it has two toothbrushes by the sink because it helps me pretend I have a loving partner and not clinical depression. Today we'll be trying to finish the heist, but first I want to show you a fun-filled family prank I discovered a while ago. First you steal a luxury civilian car and then attach several remotely detonated explosives to it. This is also a bit of a social experiment you could try yourself in real life to test if people will be rude enough to steal your car. This right here is why I'm the 6th most popular Christian prank YouTuber. Enough of that though, as we have to go and meet the boys boys boys, also known as our bank heist crew. In today's episode, I'm going to include a few live moments as it's been requested a lot recently, so I let the lads know that I will be recording our voices. And Crosby is super supportive of helping me keep the audio quality high. <clears throat> Bro, I'm gonna put my fan on the max so the audio quality is shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure why he's talking in an American accent, but anyway, yeah. Usually, we're just busy having highly intellectual, wholesome conversations that help us all grow as individuals, such as this one. I reckon I could actually fight you in real life and, like, dominate you. I reckon <laughs> I could bash any of the boys. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Enough messing around, though. We've got a bank to rob. Our crew today will be Crosby, Stealtho Mato, and Stealtho Simo, who many of you already know we've nicknamed Gandhi. I did this episode a while ago where Stealtho Simo was meant to be Gandhi, but he looks nothing like the OG Mahatma Gandhi, but the nickname stuck. We proceed to all head back to the apartment for a pre heist glass of chilled H2O. Sims just already on the bongs. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you look like the Colonel from KFC after he just like gone off the rails. <laughs> oh no, no, not the innocent, not the innocent <laughs> Gandhi. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's a man. <laughs> stop, Gandhi, stop now, that's enough. Gandhi's eyes were bigger than his belly, he just went straight in for it without checking. <laughs> <laughs> We've got two more heist preps to do before the big job, so let's go. We're going to be driving what is culturally appropriately named the Slavmobile. I have an honest question for my female viewers. If four pasty epic gamers yelled jeers at you from this fine sedan while you were walking down the street, how many of them would you try and have sex with? If you didn't answer all of them, then you're lying to yourself. Now you might be thinking, wow, these guys are extremely mature and intelligent and you'd be right to think that. Stealtho Mato's IQ is literally 1 million. As proof of this, you can observe us engaging in some scholarly banter. You see when Mato dips his head down, it appears as if he's engaging in premarital fellatio. Why does my head lean over towards your crotch when I do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Get out of there! Get away from that! Oh yeah! <laughs> from the back of the strips, looks like I'm sucking it off! Why are you just still Ooh. doing it? It's, it's been like... 10 minutes of driving, oh, you're, still just, you're still just doing it. <laughs> I'm now, it's getting weird. Stop. <laughs> I'll stop, this is getting a little weird. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> so we need to ambush this convoy that is transporting the thermal charges. We'll need these to break into the bank's vault. We put the difficulty on hard because we're hard. That was a penis joke, and if you're new here, that's kind of like the backbone of this channel, I guess. Seriously, if penises didn't exist, I'd have to make naughty female anatomy jokes, and that'd be difficult, as I've never seen what's down there. 
Actually, no. Telling people to stay hydrated is the backbone, but that's more of a public service announcement than anything else. A military helicopter proceeds to blow up the Slavomobile, killing all of us at once. Relatable. All right, round two, and this time we take out the chopper right away, because as I mentioned earlier, we are some of the world's best and brightest. It's all going really smoothly, and then out of nowhere, Crosby dies and we fail. I think this might be the first time ever that it's Crosby's fault we failed something, and between you and me, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. What follows could quite frankly be some of the worst GTA gameplay you'll ever see in your entire life. I kept getting nailed in the head, so I went way back behind everyone else to snipe, but still got nailed in the head. It was insane. This actually reminds me of this video I once saw called Aussie Babe Gets Dominated by Thick Russian Woman. It definitely wasn't family friendly, and I was so shocked I could only watch it eight times in a row, but not in 1080p. Only 720 because I'm a man of God. Also, Stealth Omato's driving, need I say more? Eventually, we do steal the truck, and it only took us seven or so attempts. I must say it doesn't fill me with confidence for the actual heist, but it's a good place to build from, I guess. Next up, we need to steal our getaway vehicles, which is frankly pretty thoughtless regarding pollution. Why can't we just jog or ride a bicycle to minimize our environmental footprint? Everyone's busy blaming factories and airlines for global warming, when in reality, the number one cause of pollution comes from thoughtless bank robbers. We proceed to start gunning down the gang, but there'll be no gulag for these dodgy malakas. Speaking of the gulag, imagine if it existed in real life. Like when you died, it was just you versus someone else who died, and you both got given an M4 assault rifle, and the winner was reincarnated. Imagine if you died in a car crash with your partner and then had to face each other in the gulag. It'd be such a difficult decision. Like, would you flashbang them and then rush for the quick KO, or hold a peek at spawn and play tactically for the headshot? Crazy to think about. Anyway, we deliver the bikes to the drop-off and then get ready to prepare for the main event. So everyone in the truck, bro. We're making multiple stops. All right, man. I said I'll score. <laughs> so this is Crosby's other version of the Slavmobile that we culturally appropriately call the Greek economy Slavmobile. I'm allowed to say that because I have Greek heritage. Well, I mean, a large portion of my family is Greek. I don't technically have Greek blood in my veins, but I do say Malacca a lot, so that's basically the same thing. Unfortunately, Stealtho Simo has to leave us, which is an incredibly sad gamer moment. He's done all the heist prep, but won't get any of the reward. Press F to pay respects. While we wait for the boys to get online, I ask Marto to help me out with something. This is what being friends with a YouTuber is like. Standing still so he can hit you with his car repetitively and get a cool looking thumbnail. Speaking of YouTube, thumbnails, and disappointed parents, Stealth Omato is going to start making videos soon. This will truly be a great moment, and I'll let you know as soon as it officially starts up. Also on a personal note, thanks to all you absolute legends who have subscribed to this channel, I can't believe we're actually on our way to 1 million. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. All right, heist time. And we've brought in the one and only Stealtho Robbo. He's one of my best mates, but quite frankly, a huge liability for an operation such as this. <laughs> Show some maturity, Robbie. We're trying to heist here. <laughs> Just walk Ex to the car and press Y. How hard is it? <laughs> Pushed the Jesus wrong button. Christ. No, you didn't. I pushed the wrong button. Who doesn't know how to get into a car in Grand Theft Auto? We've been playing this since we're like in diapers. We couldn't be more ready. Let's go make a moderate amount of cash. We proceed to drive over to the Pacific Standard Bank, and I must say it's nice to be doing a traditional robbery like this. We've done the heists in a strange order for some reason, but this feels like a good one. The hostages have to stay scared, or they may call the police, so we discharge our firearms regularly. Seriously, can you imagine if you were trying to deposit the cash you got from selling your girlfriend's kidney and four dudes with clown masks walked in and started shooting everything? I can't imagine anything more arousing. I'm in charge of using thermite on the gates. It's just like Rainbow Six Siege, except no one's telling me to kill myself when I fail a 1v6 clutch. So once you have the cash, you can't take damage or you lose money. 
Our tactic is to have Crosby pick up all the banknotes so we can protect him and save as much as possible. That's a man in peak form right there. He's got the hand-eye coordination of an upskirt photographer. It's time to get the motorbikes and get out of here. We are working like a real team right now and all seem to be on the same wavelength. Unlike the other day when my mate came over and was like, yo Jeff, are you thinking what I'm thinking? And I was like, hell yeah brother, let's go fap to old episodes of Ready Steady Cook. And he was like, nah man, I was going to say let's go to the pub and it was kind of awkward. But then I convinced him and now I feel we're closer than ever because of the shared experience. Anyway, for some reason we decide to try and complete the mission in a cheap way by stealing a helicopter from the police station so we can fly away safely. Crosby does some parkour and climbs to the top, but in an awkward moment, the heli doesn't spawn. Next thing I know, we've wasted a lot of time and are in a heavily armored SWAT van barreling towards the checkpoint with 11 seconds remaining. We come close, but ultimately fail the mission. It's safe to say, we now know exactly how the Japanese felt in World War II. For our second attempt, we just take the motorbikes and don't try any glitches like the good, pure lads we are. This goes well, and I don't even crash my bike on three separate occasions trying to take a shortcut through the mountain. All I'm thinking now is how will everyone spend their winnings? I also officially mark this as my favourite heist of all time. The modern technology combined with that classic heist feel offers a money-making experience that has a little something for everyone. Who do I think I am? Some kind of entitled heist critique? Anyway, Stealtho Mato has the audacity to call me a bad driver, but just witness this. More importantly, we complete the heist and I pocket a cool $302,000 for my efforts. Look at that cinematic celebratory shot right there. Are you watching a modest Pelican video or a Martin Scorsese picture? Also, dat thick Robbie ass. I'm currently sitting on $850,000, but I'm saving for something special right now. So I do the mature thing and don't impulse buy anything stupid, which is genuinely rare for me. Stealtho Robbo buys a strawberry face mask and fully upgrades a compact car, which might be the best use of 500k I've ever seen. Stealtho Mato mods himself a nice Porsche, and Crosby, I assume, just buys himself two and a half thousand lap dancers at the strippers. All in all, a pretty successful day on GTA Online. I hope all you legends are doing well, thanks for watching, and a huge thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.